Five decades after Apollo 11 splashed back to Earth, the Navy swimmer who first greeted the astronauts is telling his story. KPI X5's Don Ford on his critical mission. It's been 50 years now since the Apollo 11 astronauts were recovered at sea by the USS Hornet. And the first person to reach that historic capsule was Navy frogman John Wolfram. John was 20 years old, fresh out of Naval Special Forces training, when he and his team were assigned to safeguard the Apollo 11 astronauts moments after their capsule splashed down. First, his team secured a flotation ring to keep the spacecraft from sinking. Then John climbed up and looked in. I looked in the hatch window to get uh, a thumbs up from the astronauts to let one of the doctors in a helicopter know they're okay. And once the, that was established, uh, a helicopter came in close, two more frogmen jumped in. John modestly says it was a team effort, an effort that they trained for. He says they knew what to do. Then a different frogman carefully approached the hatch. There was a serious concern, moon germs. And he opened the door? Uh, the astronauts, I think, opened the door from the yeah. inside. And then uh, they were given these biological isolation garments. And then his job was to scrub down the capsule and the raft. And when they came out into the raft, they were also scrubbed down with this betadine solution. What was the concern then? Um, I think uh, was it the, the unknown the, 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 the possible moon pathogens. John is spending time on the Hornet, recalling those days long ago when the nation was glued to the space program, took pride in the success of completing complicated missions, and believed manned space travel was just getting started. After the Apollo missions, John resumed his normal assignments, which included service in Vietnam. John is now 70 years young. First one in the water. hoo -yah! In Alameda, Don Ford, KPIX5. <laughs> the Navy's team, better known these days as the Navy SEALs.